Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 26, Characterization of Parallel Lines. Okay, we're entering a parallel universe. Exercise 1 says to sketch the graph of this system. So keep in mind, these are both in slope-intercept form. So in the first one, I will do this one in red y equals 2 over 3x plus 4, m equals 2 over 3, that's my slope, b, which is my y-intercept, equals 4. I plot my y-intercept first at 4, and then my slope is rise over run up 2 over 3, and I have the point right here. Now I'm going to get my ruler and bring this down, and I will connect the dots with accuracy using the ruler. And when I do that, we get this line right here. Okay, so this is a line of y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. I have labeled it. I am now going to do y equals 4, 6, x minus 3 with green. So y equals 4 over 6, x minus 3. My slope is 4 over 6. My y-intercept is negative 3. So you plot the y-intercept first, which is here. And the rise over run says go up 4, right 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I put a dot right here at the point 1, 6. Okay. Draw a straight line through those two points. And there you have it. Identify the slopes of each equation. What do you notice? Well, the slope of the first one equals 2 thirds. And the slope of the second one equals 4 over 6. Well, 4 over 6 reduces to 2 thirds, so the slopes are equal. The slopes are equal. B says to identify the y-intercept points of each equation. Well, in the first equation, B was 4, which is right here. And on the second equation, B was negative 3. And the y-intercept points are different. Okay, so I'm noticing something here. If the slopes are the same and the y-intercepts are different, the lines will be parallel. All right, number two. Okay, so in this one it says to set, sketch this graph of systems. And so I'm going to do the first one in blue this time. So this will be in blue. And so when I have y equals negative 5 over 4x plus 7, my slope is negative 5 over 4. My y-intercept is 7. So I plot the point 7. And this says to go down 5, write 4. So if I go down 5 to 2 and write 4 over from 0 to 4, those are the two points I want to graph. And I grab my ruler and run that line right through and try to be as accurate as possible. And there's the line. And that's y equals negative 5 over 4x plus 7. I'll do this one in purple. y equals negative 5 over 4x plus 2. My slope is negative 5 over 4. My b is 2. Plot the point 2, go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1, 2, 3, 4 is right here. Bring my ruler down. Notice I didn't have to rotate my ruler. Hint, hint. And draw the line. That is y equals negative 5 fourths x minus or plus 2. Okay. So there we have it. Two lines graphed on the same plane. Identify the slope of each equation. The slope of the blue line was negative 5 over 4. 
and the slope of the purple line was negative 5 over 4. They are equal. Okay, we have equal slopes. Now it says to identify the y-intercept of each line. The y-intercept of the blue line was 7, so b equals 7. The y-intercept of the purple line was b equals 2. Okay, they are different. So therefore, when the slopes are equal and the y-intercepts are different, the lines are parallel. Okay, this one here. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to rearrange colors a little bit. Do this one in green. So if I have y equals 2x minus 5, then I know my slope is 2 and my y-intercept is negative 5. That's plotting a point here. And when I have a slope that's an integer, you can always put over 1. So I'll go up 2, over 1, and there is my next point. Up 2, over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2, over 1 would end up up here. Okay? And then if I draw a graph going through those points, then... My line would be like so. So this is y equals 2x minus 5. And then if I do the other one in blue, I have y equals 2x minus 1. The slope equals 2. And the y-intercept equals negative 1. So plot a point at negative 1. Go up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1 is here. Bring the ruler over. Notice I didn't have to rotate it. And draw a line through those two points. And there is my equation, y equals 2x minus 1. Identify the slopes of each. In the green one, the slope was 2 over 1. In the blue line, the slope was 2 over 1. They are equal. Okay. Identify the y-intercept point of each equation. Okay. In the green one, the y-intercept was negative 5, so my b equaled negative 5. And in my y-intercept of the blue line, the b equaled negative 1. They were different. So again, equal slopes, different y-intercept, parallel lines. There you have it. Okay, so now they're going to ask us after we've done those graphs. Now it says to write a system of equations that has no solution. So the system of equations symbols this big bracket. And we've been using slope-intercept form. So I'm going to write y equals, I don't know, I'll make this up, 2 thirds x plus 5. And if I want an equation that has no solution, that means they're parallel lines, they will never cross. So I'll write y equals something with the same slope but a different y-intercept. Okay, infinitely many solutions to that and that is only one of those infinite many. Number five says to write a system of equations. So there's my bracket. Write a system of equations that has the point two comma one as a solution. So I'm just going to make up one line. y equals two x plus so, 5. Actually, I don't want 5 there. i got to make it true. So, now if I just have y equals 2x, this is my x and this is my y. So, 2 times 2 is 4. And what do I have to add to 4 to get 1? Well, it's got to be minus 3. So, if I plug in 2 here, 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. So, y equals 2x minus 3 is 1. And now I need to find another line that has a different slope, but will make this true. So, that's how I'm going to do this. So, I'm going to write another equation. y equals, I don't know, 3x. So, my slopes are different. 3 times 2 is 6. And how do I get 1 if I have 6? Well, I have to subtract 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. So there is a system of equations that would have a solution at the point 2, comma 1. 
Number three, how can you tell if a system of equations has a solution or not? Well, if the slopes are different, there will be one solution. So if the slopes are different, there will be one solution. If the slopes are equal and the y-intercept are different, there will be no solution. Okay. Okay, number seven says, does the system of linear equations shown below have a solution? Well, this is in standard form, and it's not readily visible what the slope is, and we want to know if the slopes are equal or not. And if, they are, if the slopes are equal to different y-intercept, there's no solution. And if the slopes are different, there'll be one solution. So I'm going to put this in slope intercept form. So if I had ax plus by equals c, and I want that in y intercept form, y equals mx plus b, I have to subtract, I have to subtract ax from both sides for starters. I'm trying to get y by itself. So then I'd have some b times y equals negative ax plus c. And now when I want to get y by itself, I would divide by b. And I'd divide by b and everything. And then these cancel, and I get y equals negative a over b x plus c over b. So my m will equal negative a over b, and my b, which is my y-intercept, so that I can't have b equal to c over b. I don't want to do that. So I will just say y-intercept equals c over b. All right, so hopefully you're following along here. This is a, this is b, and this is c. So if I remember this rule, my slope is negative a over b when in slope intercept form. So what is negative a over b would be a negative 6 over a negative 2, which is simply 6 over 2, which equals 3. So my slope of this line here is 3. So then if I put a, negative a, over b for the second line, this one here, then negative a would be negative 4 over a negative 3, which equals 4 thirds. Well, obviously 3 is not equal to 4 thirds, so, it, so therefore this system of linear equations has one solution. And the reason being... The slopes are different. Okay, number eight is asking if this system of linear equations shown below has a solution. Okay, now this one's in a little bit of a different, this is in standard form. This is in standard form, so I can do this rule here. So I know that the slope of this first line is a negative a, which is a negative negative two, which is positive two, over b, which is eight. So therefore, the slope of this line is 1 fourth. Okay, in this equation, it is not in standard form or slope intercept form. So to get it into standard form, all I have to do is subtract 4y over here, and I'd get x minus 4y equals 1. So now my a is 1 and my b is negative 4. So in this second equation here, then I would have the slope equals negative a, which is negative 1, over b, which is negative 4. And a negative divided by a negative is positive. And as you can see, these are equal. So my y-intercept now is the next thing I have to look at. My y-intercept is c over b. So in the purple one, my y-intercept equals c 
over b, which reduces to 7 fourths. And in the green one, the y-intercept, that looks like a g, the y-intercept equals c over b, 1 over negative 4 or negative 1 quarter. And since these are different, then this system does not have any solutions. No solutions. Slopes are the same. Y-intercepts are different. The lines are parallel. No solutions. Number nine. Does the system shown here have a solution? Explain. Okay. AX plus BY equals C. AX plus BY equals C. Fantastic. We are both in standard form for both. I will do this one first. Slope equals negative A over B, which equals negative 12 over 3, which equals negative 4. The slope here is M equals negative A over B, which equals a negative 4 over 1 which equals negative 4. My slopes are the same. My y-intercept equals c over b, which is negative 2 in this one, over b, which is 3. So my y-intercept is negative 2 thirds in that first equation. And in my second equation, my y-intercept, which equals c over b, and this is my C and this is my B, that equals 7 over 1. Since these are not equal, then I have slopes that are equal, these are equal, and y-intercepts that are not, so therefore the lines are parallel. So no solution. Okay, number 10 it says, Jenny babysits for two different families. One family pays her $6 each hour and a bonus of $20 at the end of the night. The other family pays her $3 every half hour and a bonus of $25 at the end of the night. Write and solve the system of equations that represents this situation. And at what number of hours do the two families pay the same for babysitting service from Jenny? So I'm going to set up two equations. And we're going to do slope-intercept form on these. So y, the total amount of money she makes, is equivalent to her rate plus her bonus. So this is going to be 6x. Well, let me do it in red, since I underlined it in red. So it's going to be y equals $6 per hour plus 20 bucks at the end of the night. Okay, so that's y equals, I forgot my y equals, y equals 6x plus 20. The green one is going to be y equals, now keep, keep in mind that it's $3 every half hour, which would be equivalent to $6 per hour for this one as well. So it's 6x as well, but she gets a bonus of $25. Okay, so the slope of this first one is 6. The slope of the second one is 6. So these lines are either parallel or sit right on top of each other. But in this case, okay, now, figuring out my b's. b equals 20. b equals 25. b equals 20. b equals 25. These slopes are the same. The y-intercepts are different. These two lines will never cross. So at what number of hours do the two families pay the same? They never will pay the same. The second family will always pay $5 more than the first. Okay, that is the end of lesson 26. Review the lesson summary and go to your problem set.